Buzz with Jess Luhan. We're back with my in-studio guest, the Governor of Guam, Eddie Bazacalvo. Governor, welcome again. It's great to be here. It's Thank always, you for, for always fantastic to have you, most, most especially when you're celebrating your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't think of a better place for my birthday. There, there, there we go. I mean, you know, we got a whole for bunch the of, des of dessert out in the, uh, on the lobby there. The, the governor brought in. Governor, let, let's talk about tax refunds here, because one of the things they, they uh, accused you of basically was your underfunding the yeah. uh, uh, tax, tax refunds. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it seems to me that, gosh, uh, even before the dateline, um, you know, it seems like every month you're, there's, a, there's a release of tax refunds. Yeah, in fact, the, the issue has never been about the reserving of tax refunds mm -hmm. in the past and why we never got tax refunds mm -hmm. out. I'm talking about in previous years. It was always about uh, wrong revenue projections. Mm -hmm. So if you don't project your revenues right, uh, everything else is go, goes awry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we've straightened that out. I, and again, I want to congratulate Senator Pangolin. We've worked collaboratively towards getting the right revenue projection. So with that in mind, we feel very confident uh, that the reserve that we've put out 113 million is more than enough uh, to cover for all tax refunds. Uh, again, I, that's where I even want to congratulate the Republicans. Uh, when we came out with our fiscal plan uh, early on, where we would uh, float bonds to pay off these year, mm -hmm. these tax refunds that were owed three or four years back, mm -hmm. uh, it was met with a lot of resistance uh, in the legislature. Mm -hmm. But it was a commitment of, of the Republican minority uh, that allowed the, the, the debate to continue. Mm -hmm. and, and again, finally, uh, we had uh, enough of the Democrats to come to our end uh, to vote for that refund bill. Mm -hmm. So. Again, I want to thank the Republicans, and I also want to thank uh, those members of the Democratic majority that have wished to work collaboratively mm -hmm. towards a common consensus. And the same way that we had worked uh, with a tax refund initiative, mm -hmm. I do believe that we can work with this budget as well. Now, Governor, of course, the, the numbers of um, our, our tourists have, have gone up. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a decline on, the, on our main market, the Japanese. The Russians and, and Koreans have made up in those mm -hmm. numbers. What do you foresee in this? this coming year, the 20, 2014, in regards to revenue. How do you see our next physical year, 2014, um, uh, again, coming about, uh, you know, there's a po possibility mm -hmm. that the U.S. will go into war in the next couple of days, mm -hmm. you know? How do you see that affecting us? There's a lot of uncertainties uh, mm -hmm. that, are, that are occurring all over the world. We've had also our fair share of uh, adversities, and whether it was uh, the tsunami uh, that hit Japan, uh, Again, 311 mm -hmm. uh, was even the man-made disaster mm -hmm. of the murders that occurred in mm -hmm. Tumon. Uh, there's also been the, the devaluation of the yen by close to 30 percent sure. as opposed to the dollar. But we've weathered it. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at the Japanese numbers, we've actually grown in terms of the outbound market mm -hmm. of Japanese. So the mm -hmm. Japanese want to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that has stabilized. And then if you're seeing the tremendous increases in numbers from places such as mm -hmm. South Korea sure. and the Russian market. So I feel very comfortable on that end. We just got to continue mm -hmm. to market, improve our product, mm -hmm. which is what we're doing with all these construction activities. We're building museum, mm -hmm. uh, fixing some of our historical sites, fixing up Tumon and some of our parks. Mm -hmm. um, we we still, still see uh, numerous contracts in terms of military uh, projects that are ongoing. Mm -hmm. Though we'd love to see a billion dollars of, of projects moving forward on, on an annual sure, basis, sure. We're still, still seeing anywhere from 350 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to 450 million of military mm -hmm. construction sure, projects sure. that are ongoing. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is some of the Japanese money that is now being utilized sure. and being spent. Sure. Uh, I feel confident about mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. you, obviously, we, no one can predict 100% of what's going to happen. Uh, but so far, in these very adverse times mm -hmm. all over the world, and including in Guam, sure. uh, we've been ma managing this mm -hmm. slow, steady growth. Sure. You know, one of the things that concerns me, Gov, mm -hmm. is, is this. Now, I, I know there's a bill out there that uh, wants to remove the, the QCs uh, from, from insurance companies. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with that, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we may differ in this, and yeah. we differed in, <laughs> you know, when we were serving to get together. I, I, I differ in the sense that, um, you know, most especially if we have a current, if, if companies right now have current contracts, mm -hmm. okay, the fact, the, the, the fact, and, and, and 
God willing, we don't have any natural disasters mm -hmm. or things of that nature. And, and I'm sure there's quite a lot of people that are probably under, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't, we didn't have flooding in years past, mm -hmm. okay? Earthquakes and things like that, those are separate insurances that people have to buy, mm -hmm. and they're expensive insurances. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine now if, if, if uh, insurance companies are, are looking and saying, well, look, we got a contract with the government, but the government <laughs> can take that away yeah. at, at any time. It does not look, again, it's not enticing for mm -hmm. companies who want to come in and do business mm -hmm. in Guam, a uh, supposedly a safe place, when its government can turn on them the mm -hmm. next day after committing the day before. Yeah, and of course that is what uh, the discussion that we've had, in including with some of the bills that have been sure. introduced, mm -hmm. such as Senator Respicio's mm -hmm. bill. And I understand that. There's contracts here that, that need to, we, we need to show stability mm -hmm. in the, uh, how we apply our rules. But then at the same time, we also uh, look at what the concept of the QC sure. was. And the, by the way, the QC works. Mm -hmm. Look at the tourism industry sure. we have. Mm -hmm. That was built through QCs. Mm -hmm. uh, now, how the QCs that were envisioned for the growth of, uh, of domestic insurance mm -hmm. here in, in, uh, and captive insurance here in Guam, that didn't materialize. Sure. So obviously there's debate in, in the success of QCs and whether there are certain areas where incentives uh, were, were put so we could grow an industry mm -hmm. that has not occurred. So I, I, I understand the situation uh, regards to the health insurance mm -hmm. QCs and we can't break those contracts. Sure. But nonetheless, we also see that when these QCs were put out, what was originally envisioned for growth of an industry did not occur. Money, capital did not flow from, from off island. Uh, but be that as may, uh, I, I want to state very clearly, I, I, be, I believe the QC program works. Mm -hmm. I've been very diligent in not uh, issuing all kinds of QCs. Sure, There's sure. only been one QC that I've issued out, and that was for a hydroponics farm uh, in Guam. And for me, that focuses on sustainability mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and growth of a new industry. I'm also looking towards the regional uh, hospital mm -hmm. and, and al allowing for growth in, in, in mm -hmm. our health industry here as well as medical tourism. Uh, but at the same time, we also have to understand how we do it, that we don't endanger current medical facilities and there, and there is a balance and, and fair play as well. Governor, we've got to pay some more bills. We'll be right back. <laughs>